So I can't believe that I'm going to be talking about this yet again, but in yet another season in Call of Dragons, we have been betrayed. And we got betrayed in the absolute worst, most disgusting way possible. It's actually unfathomable how gross this is. And that is not an understatement. So stick around in this video, not only for the spins on Fragar, but I'm also going to tell a, just an intro to the tale of how we got betrayed this season, because the full story is even more crazy, and I think that's just going to have to happen in a separate video. So let's get started. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and I have been collapping with Sindri and Fragar. The combo is amazing. I slept on Sindri and previously. I got heckled by some bro who had no clue what he was talking about, saying that, uh, oh, what are you talking about recommending Sindri and you haven't even worked on him? You're such a shill. No, bro. I hadn't worked on him because I did, I made a mistake, and now I've been working on him, and he's damn good. So no, I'm not a hypocrite. I maxed my freaking Sindrian, and now we're maxing Fragar because this combo slaps in the open field. Very, very, very good, especially if your opponent dare walk around with some mages. They are done for. So I am 90 tokens away from maxing Fragar, and I could have done this with universals, but remember how seasons work. You get two cycles of a commander or hero, and then two cycles of some other hero. So for us in the Icebound Oath, we had two cycles of uh, Ferondil and Theodore. And now in the tail end of the season, we have two cycles of uh, Sindrian with Fragar. And this is the second cycle with Fragar. So now I'm going to go spin the wheel and max her out. But first, we've got to talk about the drama. And this is, anytime there's a there's a betrayal video, it requires really a lengthy explanation. But the simple explanation is going to be so mind-blowing to you. You're not going to be able to fathom that humans actually made these choices. I mean, you will. I, it happened. But but it, it's actually astonishing. So let's start to spin here. And I will tell the tale of a betrayal that really screwed us over in the absolute worst possible way. The, the most disgusting betrayal I can possibly fathom. And, and like, that's strong language. You may be like, bro, do you need to chill? Because like, chill. Let me explain. Um, can you imagine that you are allied with two groups of people, okay? And one of the leaders of one group name calls the other in global chat. Well, that's obviously not okay, all right? So we should have a conversation about the name calling in global chat. That's not cool. Um, and in the time that I went to bed, this name calling had happened. And when I woke up, the group that had been called some names in Belleron chat, in global chat, had flipped sides, turned into a full-blown 100% traitor, and were inviting the enemies into our starting zone. I want you to understand how disgusting that is. So in a seven-hour window, not even like in the six and a half hours of sleep I got, Somewhere in the middle of the night, there was a name calling, and that was so egregious that this group decided they are going to completely screw us over, completely throw to the wayside thousands of hours of effort from all the players in, in our group, completely screw over all the innocent players that had nothing to do with the name calling. I mean, it's so baffling to me. It is so insane. It is so mental that a group will be like, why, yes. A little bit of name calling justifies throwing away two and a half seasons worth of knowing some people and being their allies in order to what? They literally insisted and demanded that we hand over the person who had done the name calling. And it's like, guys, you didn't even give us seven hours to wake up and learn there was a problem and remedy it. Instead of literally giving us any opportunity, whatsoever to remedy this issue you threw away the whole season it's so mental it's honestly hard to understand how they justify them to themselves that this is okay but not only did they throw away the season they literally invited our sort of mortal enemies into our starting zone and put us on a 24-hour clock to clear out all the territory belonging to that alliance from our starting zone so that 
they couldn't teleport into our starting zone and give us literally no safe haven for the next like 40 days. I mean, we literally tried to talk to them, say like, guys, you know, we understand you have a grievance here um, and we're not undermining or diminishing that grievance in any way. But could we ask you out of out of the out of out of the courtesy of the last two and a half months we've been playing together and been allies, could we ask you to just do us the respect of not inviting them into the starting zone? And and no, they couldn't. Now, it's quite complicated why they couldn't, because this is an alliance that's run with a voting system. And so the one player felt like it was actually quite disgusting what was going on, but he was outvoted. And so they continued on being traitors. And at the end of the day, I think the design of this game really needs a little bit of attention with regard to the betrayal meta, because given the choice of being um, a winner, but a traitor, and being uh, a loser that is loyal, some number of people that are in leadership positions will look at the situation and go, I mean, we could just be winners and be traitors. And that's basically, well, I don't know, you know. Maybe their motivation was that the comment in Belleron was just so offensive that they couldn't handle it. But but I just find it so astonishing that they literally couldn't give us any time at all to be awake and solve the problem. Like they they didn't give us a, a, not even not even an ounce of respect and opportunity to solve the problem. So just to be super clear, someone not from my group, not not in the Blood Fam, okay made this comment. It was another alliance that we were allied with. And so the one group betrayed the other. I mean, I mean, they, they, they threw the whole season. They literally threw the whole season. And, and you know, the thing that's so crazy um, is that, like, not only could this have been solved easily, 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 within a 24-hour window, we could have talked about a solution, right? Um, they sort of accuse us as if we weren't going to do anything. Like, no, I literally had a conversation with the dude who made the comment, and I was like, hey, man, like, you know, as one leader to another, you really can't do that. And he's like, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. And like, okay, like we could, like it was so solvable. The, so, so anyways, um, I'll have a whole dedicated video kind of walking through like the, the details that led up to the incident that led to the name calling that, that sort of led to this whole thing. But what was thrown away? Well, we had a defensive position in the final dragon zone that was unassailable. I mean, we did this last season where we, we know how to set up a defense that cannot be assaulted and even with a small number of players can be easily defended. Um, and, you know, all all that would, would have needed to happen is for everybody to just be chill for the remainder of the season and, like, not bicker. And I, I can't believe... there's the, Honestly, there's no justification to me, not a justification in the entire world... Um, for betraying the way that they did. I I, I think it's just so beyond ex un unacceptable, right? And, and it's one thing when, like, you betray and you're an individual and um, you aren't screwing over literally everyone else. Like, that's still kind of disgusting, but, like, people do that. Um, but, to, but to betray in a way that you literally threaten for the sort of... Um, mortal enemy betrayers from previous seasons to be able to enter into our starting zone and give us no quarter for, for, you know, over a month. I just think that is really despicable. Um, I, I, I just, I, I, it's so vile. I can't even begin because like this game should have a safe place, but it doesn't. So your only safe place is your starting zone. And so anyways, this group seals now named MILF, um, has apparently done a fair amount of betrayal in the past, I am told. But, like, you know, they're going to get really pissy about the fact that I said that. So I, I I don't know what I can say or not say. This group is very temperamental. Um, It's very difficult to... to I, I I don't know, man. So so it's hard to even talk about um on the fly, like I'm doing now, without collecting my thoughts, because I invested so many thousands... Uh, as a team, we invested so many thousands of hours into them, and I personally invested so many hundreds of hours where I should have been making videos, and I spent literally days negotiating with allies on their behalf. I spent astonishing amounts of time that many of them will never know um, trying to make their situation better. When they couldn't take the Hydra, when they couldn't take the Necro Giant, I brought players into their alliance to make sure we could get them for them so that they would have them in the final zone to fight with. 
I mean, we really went the distance. And like, you may be thinking, okay, so wait, so why is this such a big deal that they betrayed if they couldn't take their Hydra and they couldn't take their Necro Giant? Well, they have like, I don't know, 13 to 20 tier five players. And they, they had, oh, I, I don't know what the exact number is, but like maybe an upwards of like 50% of the tier fives on our side were in this group, right? And they sort of pitched themselves as this like elite, super skilled, you know, elite group that like, yeah, they are skilled. Like no one's questioning that, but also they're, they betrayed. And, you know, the fallout of this has been really crazy because there's a bunch of sort of conscientious objectors who are like, hey, this is disgusting. I'm not even going to participate. Um, my team is making me choose between my morality and my friends. This is gross. Like, and so they aren't even participating. A whole bunch of people came back to the blood family from this group um, and were like, yeah, I think what they've done is wrong and I don't want to be a part of it. Um, and then some number of people are like, we're traitors, but now we're winners. And so, okay, like that that's what they felt like they had to do for themselves. And again, like I think it's easy for them, and I know this because I talked to some of them, to like distract from the the real core of all of this. Um, but if you get down to it, what happened in their insanely impulsive reaction, um, they they re reacted to a comment in Belleron chat through the whole season, screwed over literally every one of their allies um, in the in the, the maximum possible damage and way, um, and I just think that it was so astonishingly preventable. It's just, I mean, it's just really gross and and kind of infuriating. Um, and so I have thirty more sculptures that I need. So fifteen are guaranteed. So I need. 15 more. I don't want to overspend. Uh, let's find out. I, I don't think I will overspend. In fact, I may end up spending some gems here. So I'm going to give the whole backstory around this situation because I actually think it's just going to be really like get out your popcorn and, and people are just going to... I mean, I think it's just going to be entertaining. Wow, I am going to go over on tokens for sure, which is a little annoying, but like I guess that's a luxurious problem at the end of the day. Let's see. If I get three more tokens, I go over. There's one. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We need these to be universals. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's weird that I don't want Fragar tokens right now. Come on. Anything but a Fragar. Let's freaking go. Okay, so two more Fragars and I go over. So we could be okay because we get the guaranteed 15 over here. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh no, one more Fragar. GG. I'm definitely going over on Fragar tokens, right? It has to be the case. Has to be the case. So, you know, I recognize that that like I'm talking about this betrayal in a sort of disorganized way. Um, but it's really quite simple when you get down to the, the base element of it. You know, a reaction to a comment in Belleron chat, they threw away two and a half months of camaraderie, um, couldn't even afford us more than seven hours. Literally, we were asleep. And by the time we woke up, they had ruined the whole thing. Um, and, and it's just mind blowing. Right. And, and it's just really easy to understand that like in no world is that behavior. Okay. To betray in that way. So I'm definitely about to go over in sculptures if I haven't already, but I might be exaxes, which would actually be insane. Please, please be exaxes, please. Oh, this is, dude, this could be good. <laughs> exaxes. Yo, did we do it? Did we do it? Uh, no. I, uh, oh, I need to, yes, we did. I need to claim my 15, and we did. We're good. We got there. We got there, right? Um, And, you know, so there's a bunch of ways to look at this betrayal, by the way. And, and you know, like I said, I'm going to talk about this more in another video. But, like, it's funny that this other group, like, accepted them. Like, let me explain. We're in a, in a uh, new season with a group MF that really claimed to value fair fights and even fights throughout the entire season. So you would think they would be extremely frustrated as well with the SEAL's betrayal because they've basically denied them the fights that they would have gotten for the remainder of the season because, like, I don't know how we're going to defend against all of them, quite frankly. It, we're, we're outnumbered. Like, maybe we can hold Zoden to maybe, but assuredly there would have been more fights higher quality fights if they hadn't betrayed. 
So even MF, based on what they said at the start of the season, I don't know how true this is, given that they're literally participating in the sort of craziness of all this right now. I don't know if they actually care about fair fights, but if they they really do, which they said they do, they should be furious with the Seals because they ruined the fair fight they would have got for the rest of the season. So now their win is just sort of has an asterisk on it. Like, yeah, I mean, they were winning. And like, it's extremely unlikely we would have been able to attack their defensive position around the dragon. Totally true. Uh, and, and no one can take that from them. But the rest of it, Seals took from them. They took from them the glory of having done it themselves. A betrayal is what really flipped it over. And now we'll never know. Um, so I don't know, man. It's been really, really crazy. That's for sure. I'm going to have to make a whole video about this. But I am super hyped to have my Fragar maxed. So there's that good news. So if you want to see the betrayal video, uh, consider subscribing. Um, it is funny that, uh, you know, the group that they joined is the sort of sworn enemies, the dragon family that betrayed us in the previous season. And it's really amazing to me that the seals found a way to betray um, in a way that is even worse than what dragon fam did. Because like, it's one thing when you betray your agreement, but it's quite another to like be in the same starting zone and then invite people in to zero everybody. Like that's a level of disgusting that's not okay. And we asked them multiple times to just like, hey, we understand you want to do this civil war, blah, blah, blah. Could you just not invite them in the starting zone? And they're like, no, we're bringing them in. And they even said, we we think you're going to win the starting zone anyways, which we did, by the way. We, we, we have won almost entirely the starting zone. There's still a few loose ends we need to deal with over here. But, you know, I said, hey, if you think we're going to win the starting zone anyways... Like, why don't you just delete your fort, delete your flags, we won't zero anybody, and, like, show a gesture of goodwill to all the innocent people that would get zeroed and and spend 45 days running for, for their lives if your plan to allow the enemies into our starting zone were to go through. And they were like, nah, we're just going to keep defending. So I, I just think the, the the number of opportunities they had to, even after they ruined the season, make things right and then chose not to— is just really, I think, indicative of the maturity and and um, behavior, right? And and you know, I saw some really L takes on other places where people were like, sort of victim shaming us for not being, yeah. You know, how dare you not be more involved in the mediation? And like, bro, we were literally asleep when this happened and woke up and it was the season was ruined. So like. We, we were not even given a chance to mediate, and I have all the evidence that we were, in fact, mediating, despite the claims that we weren't. So, blah, blah, blah. Full video will be coming soon. If you want to see the video where Dragon Fan betrayed us, who now these guys are in bed with, Card will be in the end screen for that long explanation as well. And I genuinely have some suggestions that I think will dramatically change, um, in my opinion, for the better, the way that the game would work towards this betrayal meta, because I don't... I don't think it's healthy for the sort of choice to be like, am I a, a loyal person who didn't win the season or am I a traitor? But look at my dragon border to remind me forever that I'm a scumbag traitor. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Like that traitor, traitor behavior should not be. Uh, I, I honestly think like there should be harsh punishment for people that betray, but I am off on a tangent until next time. You have fun smashing the kingdom. I got to go back to uh, securing zone two as best we can before, you know, uh, they they get in even further. I mean, look, we literally had to help them take their Hydra and their Necro, which now they use against us. What a freaking joke, man.